storm comes a tall, handsome man in a dusty black coat with a red right hand. How strange is your world? On June 13th, 1966, something happened in Enigma, Ohio. Something that no one talks about. Something that led to the permanent disappearance of over 500 students and the closing of Etna High. For over 30 years, the children of Enigma have been growing up wondering what is it that their parents won't talk about. They're about to find out. <laughs> school here. He uh, graduated in 1965. It was a year before all the students disappeared. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Does he ever talk about it? <laughs> no. Just like everybody else in this town. You know, things would be so much easier if they just tell us what's going on and we wouldn't have to be creeping around the school. Carter, where are you going? Oh, I hate it when he does that. I saw something. I want to check it out. Some, some, uh, a girl, she keeps. What, you mean there's somebody else in here? Yeah, some girl. She keeps appearing, disappearing. I've been chasing her all over the school. Well, well look at that. Uh, Is that where your mystery girl disappeared? I don't know. I'm going to find out. Carter, where are you going? Here. Connor, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Help me. Get all right, all right. I'm coming. Chris! Achish! Sorry, I'm allergic to fear. What are you doing here? I thought the school was empty. You're not going to get the door open that way. And I'm always here. Someone's got to keep an eye on the place. Well, can you get the door open? The boyfriend got sucked in there, didn't he? Boyfriend did, yes. Well, well, that's a shame, because he's a goner. What? What do you mean, a goner? Well, you know, unless we open the door. Then open it. That's not that easy, Emily. Oh, um, why do you keep calling me Emily? My name's Chris. You know, I don't know if I can work with you with that attitude under this kind of pressure. What are you talking about? What pressure? Time constraints. You have until 4.17 to rescue your boyfriend. It's now 2.41. That only gives you two hours. Actually, that's only like an hour and a half. If we had until 4.41, that would be two hours, but we only have until 4.17, and 17 is 24 minutes less than 41, so we only have like an hour and 36 minutes, because an hour is 60 minutes long. Well, let's look at the big clock now, shall we? Hmm, 2.42. You just wasted a minute. Now, what do you want to do? Rescue the boyfriend or lecture me on how to tell time? Rescue, Okay, tell okay, time. I'm sorry. I didn't believe that. I'm sorry. That's better. Okay, there's a three-number combination that you gotta write on the wall. You get that correct and you could win what's behind door number one. W what's the combination? I don't know. That's where it gets kind of confusing. I had it once. I had, you know, wait a minute. He's got three for the price of one. Nothing's free but guaranteed for a lifetime use. 
Now look around, little missy. This here uh, is a secret site. We're gonna find the first of your lucky numbers. Where? Well, first you need to figure out how far, how many inches it is uh, from that hoop to the ground. How many inches? Mm -hmm. It should be 10 feet. There's oh. 12 inches in a foot, so 10 feet would be 120 inches. So let's write 10 down. On what? That rock there. Hey, um, how many yards is that? Yards? Well, what are you getting at? Hey, if you're gonna get nasty, I don't have to help, you know. I've got other things to do. Okay, a yard is three feet, so the hoop would be a little over three yards high. Hmm, a little over three yards high. That's too small of a number. Hey, try miles. Miles? Well, that would be an even smaller number. There's 5,280 feet in a mile. You know, you're not trying very hard here, Emily. My name's Chris, and this isn't making any sense. You'd measure the height of the hoop in feet, not inches or yards or miles. Inches are used for smaller things like uh, a picture frame or the width of a piece of paper. Ah, or beef jerky. Okay, sure. And uh, yards is used for the length of a football field or if you're buying yarn. And miles is for even longer distances, like how far it is from New York to Chicago. I mean, this isn't making any sense. I don't understand what we're trying to find here. Kind of confused myself. None of the stuff you've been asking me is on here. Mm hmm? Here, let me see that. Oops. <laughs> I must have misread it. All it asks is the height of the basketball hoop in feet. What are you going to do, blow this out of proportion? All right, so that would be 10. Once you know how many feet the hoop is from the ground, the key to the metric system must then be found. So that would be 10 also. The meter is a basic unit. And then you, find you have all your prefixes, which are greater or less than the meter by a power of 10. Whoa, wait a minute. Metric system? You're just making that up. Get out. What's that supposed to be? Metric. <laughs> You know, you're not helping me. You're being very annoying. What? And that doesn't help? Give me that back! Mm, no. Not until you tell me more about the metric system. Okay, a meter is like three inches longer than a yard. A kilometer is a thousand meters. That's like the length of three city blocks. A centimeter is one one hundredth of a meter, and that's the width of your little finger. And a millimeter is one one thousandth of a meter, which is as thin as a piece of wire. There you go. Thank you. Sorry. All right. Take the two numbers you have, if you dare, and add them to the area of the scoring square. Hey, it's uh, more of a rectangle shape. But if my memory's correct, it is 19 feet long and 12 feet wide. Area is length times width, which would be 12 times 19, which is? 228. Thank you. Okay, um, so the area is 228 square feet. Square feet? Yeah, what? you measure area in square units because it includes two dimensions. It's like when you measure volume in cubic units because it measures three dimensions. Okay, take these numbers and the sum of them all and subtract the angle of the wall. Well, looks pretty easy. The angle of the wall would be 90 degrees. I'm afraid not. The wall's definitely not that warm. If it was 90 degrees, I'd be burning my hands up. No, you measure angles in degrees. It has nothing to do with temperature. <sighs> Metric system, square feet, degrees. I guess math is easy if you just make it up.